so proud today to present for you The Tempest. a tiny desert island in the Mediterranean. Alonso, the king of Naples, and his sister Antonio, Antonia, the Duchess of Milan, are returning home from the king's daughter's wedding in Tusania. A wild storm came up, threatening to drown them at sea. There are a handful of inhabitants on the island, but only the old man Prospero and his daughter Miranda are humans. The others are spirits or part spirits. Twelve years ago, Prospero himself washed up on that island along with Miranda, his daughter, who was barely three years old at the time. You will soon learn who Prospero is and where he is from. My dearest father, if you and your art has took these wild waters in war, calm them. Oh, I have suffered with those I saw suffer. A brave vessel who had no doubt a noble creature in her, dashed all to pieces. Her two souls, they perished. Be collected. No more amazement. Tell your pretty heart, there is no harm done. Oh, I have done nothing but who care of you, my dear one. Of you who are part of who you really are and where we come from. Knowing more has never troubled my thoughts. Begun to tell me what I am, but stopped. Can you remember a time before? 
have it not more by what you intended me? That you did, and more. But come, sit down, and I will tell you. Prospero tells Miranda an amazing story. All she has ever known in this island in her simple way on it. What Prospero tells her is that 12 years ago, he was Duke of Milan in Italy. His wife had died, leaving him with the infant leaving him with the infant Miranda. Prospero was a kind dude, and his people loved him. But he spent most of his time studying and learning about things like magic and astrology. Meanwhile, his power Antonia plotted with the king of Naples to seize the dukedom for herself. Dost thou hear? I do, father. Your tale, sir, would pure deafness. Tell me, if this does sound like a sister, the king of Naples was my enemy. He agreed to remove me from the dukedom. Antonia opened the gate to Milan at midnight and hurried us to them, me and her kind Alack, for mercy! Why did they not destroy us? Well, last daughter, hear a little further. So great was the love of my people for me. My sister dared not put so bloody a mark on the business. They took us out to sea and left us in a rotten carcass of a tub. No tackle, sail, nor mat. Even the rats had left it. Alack, what trouble was I dead to you? Oh no, you were in terror that you deserve it with your smile. How can you be ashore? Sit, and I will tell you. <coughs> Prospero tells Miranda that a wise friend, Gonzalo, sent them with not only food and fresh water, but also a good quantity of clothes, linen, and other necessities. He also sent many books from Prospero's beloved library. What Prospero does not tell Miranda yet is who was on that fine sea vessel she just saw tossed in the wild storm. The boat carried evil Antonia, King Alonzo, and the good Gonzalo. Prospero used his magic to bring about the storm and cast their broken ship upon these shores. Miranda will soon learn the truth. Village, sir. I do not love to look on. 
water with bare feet. Then I loved you and showed you all the qualities of the island, the fresh springs, the salt pinks. Curse me that I did so. Now I treat you so wrong. The most lies. I treated you with too much kindness. So you showed violence to me and my child. Therefore, are you confined to this rock? Go hence. Fetch your fuel and be quick. You taught me when you wish, so I don't have to speak. Red plate green for learning. Later, he forced Caliban to be his slave when the creature became violent, and it was obvious Prospero couldn't trust him. And now Ferdinand appears, the son of King Alonso. He believes that everyone else on the ship has perished, and that he alone has washed up on this island. When Miranda first sees the young man, she is charmed. Her father and Caliban are the only other human forms she has seen in 12 years. Ferdinand is equally fascinated. Just start eating 
wisely concerned, weigh our sorrow with our comfort. Pretty, peace. Antonio, look how Gonzalo is winding up the weight of his watch. By and by, it will shine. By Sebastian, what a sprinkler it is with his tongue. Therefore, my lord, I pray thee, peace. Here's everything we need for life. How much the grass looks, how green, and the rarity of it is. As I say, the rarity of it is, and a girl is from the trench in the sea. I see now as fresh as when we are in the goodness of the marriage of your daughter, who is now mine. You crowd the inference into my marriage against the stomach of my sex. When I had never married my daughter in there, but that's my son is lost. Oh, my son of Aaron Naples, I'm along. What strange fish hath made his meal on thee? Sir, he may live. I saw him beat the whip right on their backs. I do not doubt that he will have a plan. No, no, he's gone. It is foul weather and a saw, good sir, and he will be a body. Prithee, no more. You laugh at me asleep. Prospero controls the spirits on the island, and he 
and he complains that Prospero has set them all against him. Goblins chase him and mock him, mock him and bite him, he says. He stumbles on hedgehogs and his legs are wound about with snakes. Caliban is a disagreeable character and he doesn't have a friend in the world. In this scene, Caliban is about to meet two foolish servants who have, rock, who have washed up on the shore. I'll run 
would break my back, then you should undergo such dishonor while I sit lazy by it. You look wearily. No, no, admired Miranda. Tis fresh morning with me. Tis fresh morning with me. When you go run in. Thank <laughs> you. 
get away from that, okay? Thanks.
you approach a cell, no noise, and enter. Do that good mischief, which will make this island forever yours, and I, thy Caliban, forever thy foot. Let me embrace thine age. 
I must be here, confined by you, or be sent to Naples, let me not, since I have my duty of God, and pardon the deceivers well, in this fair island by your spell. But release me from my bands with the help of your good hand. Gentle breast of yours, my sail, must fill, or else my project fails, which was to please, now I want, spirits to enforce, art to enchant, which pierces the lattice, and my ending is despair, unless I be relieved by prayer, which pierces the lattice thoughts, mercy itself, and frees all faults. As you from crime could pardon me, let your indulgence set me free. Thank you. 